Well, Caleb, thanks for hopping on with me today. Uh, just share a little bit about who you are, where you're from, and your occupation. So I'm from uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Um, met you through LinkedIn. Um, currently, I am a financial advisor um, and was just looking for different avenues, um, you know, to reach out to people and get connected with people. Um, you know, and then from there, it's just about building a relationship with people, building that trust. Um, you know, it's not, I like to look at my business from a standpoint of I'm not here to sell you something. I'm here to help you protect your family. Got it. And so before we started working together, what sort of methods were you using for prospecting and getting new clients? Um, cold calling, uh, you know, using obviously attacking your warm market. Um, <laughs> just the usual tactics. Obviously I had social media pages, but I now learned that I wasn't using them the most appropriate way, I guess, um, you know, not use, utilizing the right avenues. Um, still help me get my name out there, but now I, I realize that there's more tools that can be used and more efficiently. <clears throat> um, other than that, I was very reluctant of cold calling. Um, so I found that, you know, social media is a way that can kind of begin a warm conversation um, versus just a complete cold call. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I was reaching out to my warm market, like I said, um, you know, and I had some good responses there too, um, but it's something where I don't want to depend on my warm market to allow me to be successful. Um, I do want to reach out to other people and help as many people as I can. Um, it's just a matter of finding new ways to get out in front of those people. Got it. And about how many appointments do you think you were getting from those methods? So yeah, I, I, with the traditional methods I've been using, um, you know, it was about five appointments a week on average, roughly. Um, like I said before, it's kind of a roller coaster effect. Um, you know, some weeks would be busy, other weeks would be dead. Um, so I guess that's why I started working with you, um, you know, to try to get that more consistent basis, that 10 to 15 appointments a week, you know, just seeing people um, and just having conversations um, that can, you know, ultimately lead into a business relationship. Um, you know, I, when it's harder when you don't have appointment setups because it feels like every appointment is the most important, which ultimately they are, but there's just a lot less pressure when you have more appointments. Got it. And, and since we launched our first campaign a little over two weeks ago, um, what kind of results have you received? Uh, definitely some positive ones, obviously, in any business, especially in a sales business, you're going to hear your no's. Um, but, you know, it's at, the no's are coming after a conversation where, you know, we, we're finding common ground to talk about, you know, having good conversations. And it's not just about work. It's about life, you know, personal views, values, different things like that. Um, you know, and from there, it's whether or not, you know, we're a good fit. Um, you know, and I've had a lot of good conversations with the people that you've connected me with through, um, you know, and I'm excited to see, I know like in the beginning we talked about like the logistics of it and kind of the area I, we want to attack. Um, but after you explained like your method and stuff like that, it made sense. And now it's starting to come to fruition. Um, you know, I'm starting to have conversations with people closer to my hometown, my physical location, different things like that. Um, you know, and it's people that actually know the area and stuff like that. And um, Like I tell them, it's just, you know, it's a connection and ultimately it's a conversation to introduce myself. And from there, it's completely up to you whether you find value in the work that we do or not. Got it. And about how many appointments do you think you've gotten uh, since we started working together? I'd say about 10 to 15, I think. Um, you know, just through the texting appointments that you sent me, um, you know, and like you said, it's just going to take a little bit for it, the water to start falling, you know, um, and it's, I, I, you know, I can start to see it build already, um, you know, so I'm excited what's to come here in the next couple of weeks uh, and really get the ball rolling and see where it leads. Awesome. And so we live in a world where, you know, people are skeptical and they kind of look at things and they say, oh, it's too good to be true and I'm not sure if it actually works. 
Um, so what would you say to people that are kind of on the fence and considering coming on board and, and using the service? Yeah, I mean, I was in the same shoes, uh, you know, the conversation me and you had. Um, you know, I was on the fence too about like the system, the process and stuff like that. Uh, but, I, you know, it's kind of just, I'd say I, I just took a leap of faith. It's like, well, do I want to invest back in myself or do I want to just keep struggling? So with that, I think it's something that obviously it takes time on your part and my part to get used to the system and stuff like that. But, uh, um, you know, once you fine tune it and get the ball rolling, I think it's definitely going to have a positive outcome. Um, I can see the positive outcomes coming already. Um, and ultimately, like you said, it, it it's an experiment for you too. You got to find it's a matter of finding what niche works between the two of you and more specifically the professional that you're working with. Right. So like me right now, I'm working with a lot of tradespeople, um, just some common ground I can find to talk to people and relate to them. Um, so to me, that's, that's huge. Um, you know, it's, it's no different than, um, you know, it's way better because it's more t tailored towards you, specifically your personality. It's not, you're getting a million leads that have no clue what you're talking about or are upset that you're contacting them. It's these people that are expecting your call and, you know, you are, they do have questions, obviously, because they are connecting with you and willing to talk. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that, Caleb. Um, uh, thanks for hopping on, and I really appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much, and you have a great week. Yeah, absolutely. You too.